we're talking about uh, an outage of uh, massive scale. This is a, an outage that uh, impacted uh, nearly the entire country. And Pakistan is a country of 220 million people. It's one of the largest countries population-wide in the world. The most basic explanation for what troubles the energy sector in Pakistan is simply uh, incredibly high demand. I mean, as, as I said before, you've got a very large population that's fast growing. You've experienced considerable levels of urbanization uh, and you've got a number of growth sectors in the economy. So what this really means is that there's just a lot of demand for electricity. But I would argue that the problems go much, much beyond that. It's not just a matter of supply shortages or strain on, uh, on supply. Um, the energy sector itself is simply um, very troubled, quite frankly. Uh, the, one of the biggest uh, problems is, is debt and really a lack of funding on the whole within the sector. One of the main reasons for that is that um, uh, Pakistan doesn't really charge all that much for the use of electricity. And, if, and even though uh, not much is charged for it, many people don't pay their electricity bills. So what this basically means is that energy companies don't have enough revenue and this is one reason why you know, the sector really can't afford, in a financial and a literal sense, to, produ to produce, to transmit it, uh, to distribute electricity. That also um, contributes to another major problem, which is uh, losses uh, on the transmission and distribution side. Just because the, you know, the infrastructure, the energy infrastructure is so weak and old and uh, there's not enough money to maintain and repair it, that you just have all kinds of, uh, of wastage and, and losses. So... There, one could go into more detail as well, but what I would want to accentuate here, what I would want to emphasize, this is not just an issue of too much demand, too little supply. It goes much further than that. It goes into bigger issues involving finances and governance uh, with the energy sector itself.